Hi guys, my next review is Ever After High Hattastic Cedar Wood. And as you can see, I've taken her out of the box already, but I wanted to make sure to show you her artwork and the back of her box. So let's look at that. So this is um, this line is uh, Hattastic Party, and it's Maddie Hatter's Tea Party in Wonderland, I guess. So these are the girls that are in the line. And here's Cedar's artwork. And we've got this sort of like Facebook event style invitation on the back, which I think is really cute. It's a good change to the um, usual bios that they do for the basic dolls. And the first thing that I want to mention about the actual doll itself is that she does have the wooden texture on her body the same way that the basic cedar wood does. And I don't know if the basic one has this, but it's a really cool thing to mention. And um, let's try to get a close up here. So as you can see, Cedar has the wooden texture on her face as well, but it's on her chin. And it goes around the sides of her face, and there's also a little bit on her forehead. And then here's a close up of her face. I think her face is really pretty, that's why it made me fall in love with this doll. And, okay, now let's take a closer look. Here's Cedar out of the box. And, as you can see, even though her promo picture had the two purple strands in her hair, this doll has actually purple on all of her hair, especially the ponytail part, which I think looks really nice. Her hat is attached with a gold headband. Her earrings are gold as well, and I don't know if we'll be able to see them, but they are a little button shape with a little bow on top. Her makeup is very simple, except for her lips, which that's a the cedar thing, I guess. Um, yeah, so she has lavender eyeshadow, and then let's look at her dress. She's got this black collar thing that kind of works like a necklace so you could remove it if you don't like it and if you do like it it would be better to hold it down with a rubber band her dress is pink the top part with black mesh sleeves and as you can see the pink part has the wooden texture that's on her skin and then her skirt has a top half that's kind of lavender black white and pink and then the bottom half seems to have some pictures of the characters from the Pinocchio storyline and then of course she does come with gloved hands they are black and she's got also the white bracelet part on top um, now we're gonna look at her shoes her shoes are also lavender and they are also gold. Not sure what the gold part is supposed to be, but I think it looks nice with the rest of the dress. She comes with a black stand. And um, her brush is also black to match. Now the things that I would change about this doll is of course the gloved hands because I always prefer regular hands and I think gloves are a good idea for this line but I would have preferred something that could be removable or maybe just a little cloth bracelet or something um, besides that I'm gonna have to say this again but I prefer two part outfits three part outfits rather than just one dress because like I said it's harder to mix and match the hat I think is very cute so I'll probably leave it in. I also really like the shoes and the socks. I kind of wish the socks were a little bit longer like on basic cedar. But these are still cute. And that's it. And otherwise I re really really like this doll. I like her much better than basic cedar as I mentioned before. Here's cedar's purse. It's brown and it also has a wooden texture to it. This is the front. And the back looks the same pretty much. These are the sides. 
I really like the purse because of this thing that they did on the handle where they used this um, puppet cross. I think that was really cool because that really ties into the Pinocchio storyline. And of course you can open it and put stuff in there. I don't know what kind of stuff you want to put in there, but you can if you're into that. Here we have her teacups and her teapot. I removed the lid so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, you could also put something in here if you want. Of course you can't pour it out, but it's cool that you can open it, I think. Here are the teacups. They also have a wooden texture to them, and you can snap them on and off the plate so you don't lose them. And they have this really nice lacy design on them. So that's what they would look like. So if you were to pick it up, sorry, you know the plate comes along with it. And that's it for Cedar. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And I hope you subscribe and leave some comments maybe. Um, let me know what you guys think about Cedar. And if you prefer her basic version, Hatastic. Or if you're looking forward to maybe seeing her in a different line. And again, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you.